Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Sacrifice. When we last left off, we did a mission for Persephone that actually ended up helping out Stratos as well. Uh, however, this time, I think I'm going to go with Pyro. Because he's going to try and get James to uh, help him out. And maybe the two of them together can do some good. I am stronger than either tree-hugging Persephone or spiritless Stratos. But combined, they may give me some trouble. It is time to appeal to James for help. All right, sounds easy enough. Let's uh, give it a try. I was sent to the borderlands of the Glebe, the fortress of Karn. Given by Pyro in the Elder Days in exchange for a tribe of Earthlings. These would later become the Flame Minions. Hmm. Hence, Pyro believed Karn would be the best place to negotiate an alliance with James. Deliver these fire fists as a token of our friendship. Finally, something simple. It looks like Pyro's found a way to enslave trolls and make them work for him. Empress Sorsha rules Pyroboria. She is a capable sorceress, but I've heard she can be overly cautious. They say Buta has wooed her for many years without success. Hmm, maybe that's where her defensive talents came from, eh? Maybe. So this, this is Sorcha. You cut a, a voodoo doll by the looks of it. <laughs> and a lot of troops as well. Alright, so, these guys, follow me. Oh, no, I guess I can't select them, never mind. I guess they're all gonna follow me. That's fine, I suppose. So we just need to get to, looks like right over here, probably. Grab this other, uh... Our presence has been noted. Here come some gargoyles. I say we'll grab this fountain, but let's talk to these guys first, I suppose. Halt! Why are you here? We bring word from Pyro to James. And a gift. One may come, and the gift. By your leave, Empress. As you wish. The rest of us will wait here. Follow me! Alright, that seems reasonable. So these guys are just going to follow me no matter what, I guess. Group three. Uh, I feel like maybe we should get some units of our own. I'm gonna grab summoning another manalith. I can summon a shrine on this mana fount and sacrifice souls here. That's true. We can build shrines now, which uh, will do exactly as he uh, just said. Uh, however, I'm not going to do that right now. Do I even need to uh, to build any units? Pro probably for the best that I don't. Right? It is is just a simple. Uh, Escort mission, in a sense, after all, right? Does seem like these guys are a little bit slower than us, and we can summon our own. So this is the unit that we're getting now. Follow me! Alright. There's another fountain over here that I'm interested in grabbing. It's a long way away, though. Yeah, I think we'll just follow them. That's fine. That's fine. Help! What do you mean, help? <laughs> Alright, so this looks like the meeting spot. Go ahead and pop down a, uh, a save real quick before we actually meet him. Lord Gracchus, an envoy from Pyro. He has brought a gift. Am I a fool? These were trolls, taking the Modernus Persephone's wrath. How did you answer that? Ally with us, yes, let's do that. Her wrath can avail not against the might of Pyro and James. Join us. Fire Fist, flatten! You counsel a dangerous course. Fire Fist! No. When the world is moving, 
Inaction is the dangerous course. Watch it! Fire Fist Smash! My lord, treachery! Of course. The enemy is in trouble. We've got some new objectives. Well, I guess uh, <laughs> that didn't go very well. Fire Fist! Well, we're gonna convert ourselves a couple souls, I suppose. <laughs> that spell is not ready. You are low on mana. Oh, you but we probably want to get these guys and uh, summon our own creatures here. Seems like Sorch is going to help us out. You are low on mana. You are good one. You are low on mana. You okay. Are low on mana. Well, uh, let's see if we can find ourselves a mana fountain here somewhere that we can make use of because we are a little bit low that could continue to be a little bit of a problem for us although I'm not sure there's one that was way out there this will just hang out here for a sec so yeah these guys look pretty cool seem like they're pretty strong as well although beating up a trog probably isn't all that hard it is a tier tier two unit after all there we go are they fighting? I think they might be fighting. Ooh, I think they're fighting. All right. Let you guys go over and try to help out here. Let's try out our, uh, our new spell here as well. Ring of Fire. Here we go. I think it's just a dot, basically. Here we are. Invalid target. All right, these guys. Target. These guys are immune to uh, magic. I can't actually hurt them. Invalid target. Invalid target. I can't hit. I can't hit this guy. Seriously. Invalid target. I guess I can't. Here we are. Oh no, I'm casting the wrong spell. That's why. <laughs> I forget what the hockey is for my uh, my ring of fire. Your creatures are under attack. Well, we'll convert some souls here while we can. See if I can. Here we go. There we go. That should help take care of him. Go ahead and heal you up. You know what? Let's get a, uh, a scarab in our squad here. So the way the fire crests work, I think, is they um, they um, do more damage as they take more more hits, essentially. So uh, I don't know if uh, it's just based on the current health pool or or what. But uh, I like the idea of it at the very, very least. Now, we'll see if we can grab some of these souls here. That spell is not ready. That spell is not ready. Heal you up as well. Here we go. Is this Gracchus still coming over here? There we go. <laughs> Seems like he... He's quite tough. There we go. He's dead. All right, let's uh, come over here. And uh, we'll try and take this. Here we go. We should be able to take this. Just, just a couple Earthlings. It shouldn't be that bad. There you go, boys. Finish, let's finish this thing up, shall we? Group one, Come on. That's the good stuff. Let's make a uh, a shrine here. Invalid target. And then we can sacrifice some souls here. It looks like Gracchus' altar is actually just right here. There we go. All right, cool. So where did I put my scarab? Where did I put you? You're over here somewhere. There you are. You are group two. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, oh, no, I didn't want another scarab, but that's okay. We'll take another scarab. We'll get a Brainiac. And we'll get ourselves a couple sylphs. And then we're going to push forward, I think. You are group 
Okay. What are they fighting, I wonder? Are they just going after a manolith? It sort of looks that way. We're going to uh, go forward and let her just kind of do her thing, I think. All right, we're going to try and take out this, uh, this manolith over here. Just to give him one less place to respawn. There we go. Yeah, it does seem like these guys are awfully slow. Maybe not quite as slow as James' units, but uh, maybe pretty close. <laughs> there we go. And we'll convert this, and then we'll start desecrating, and I think we'll be in pretty good shape here, honestly. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's try one of these higher tier. Uh, be near an enemy altar. Try one of these higher tier units here, like you. Since I made an extra one anyway. There we go. Now where is Gracchus? Is he dead? He might currently be dead. In which case, this is going to be very easy. Gracchus. Gracchus is way back here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that on him. I meant to do it on myself, but that's okay. We'll just send these guys over and uh, see if we can help finish him off here. I'm wondering uh, where Sorch is at, that's for sure. She might be fighting him. All right, let's get some fire going here. There's Sorch, I think, over there, probably. Aha! That spell is not ready. <laughs> this camera angle, though. Your creatures are there we go. Ooh, he's got a lot of big creatures, though. Let's get a, another Fire Fist going over here. There we go. And uh, we'll just... Keep hammering him with these spells, I think. That spell is not ready. One more, come on. Zap! Ha <laughs> ha, we got him. Kaboom. Well, that takes care of Gracchus. I guess we aren't the best ambassadors ever. I know this conflict weren't your fault. Someone of your skills should be more choosy about who he serves. So, uh, think about it. James has offered you a boon. All right. So we got that because we didn't start the fight. Um, it was the, the Fire Fists, technically. Not uh, not us being a dick. Uh, what to get? I guess we'll get the increased spell defense. But uh, that's like the shortest mission. <laughs> we were victorious, but... Khan had been won, but James had been lost. Exactly. Indeed. Didn't go quite as uh, we had hoped. But yeah, that is like maybe the shortest mission of all time. There have been other wars between the gods, some protracted and dreadful. Yet one truth had been constant. It was mortals who bore the suffering. The gods were bound by ancient ties, and none of them, not even Persephone or Chano, ever sought the other's extermination. I know everyone's busy getting ready for the big war, but has anyone else noticed what Jadagar's been doing? I've seen him all around the Glebe, rallying folks with talk of the prophecy of Mithras and some fellow Asher who'll save them all. Enough of your womanish whining! What? You will not distract Pyro with these ridiculous tales. Why don't you give up already? Pyro is right. If you cannot keep your followers' faith, that is your problem, James. Well, how rude. Let's, uh, let's see what we got for the next missions. Everybody's still willing to do business with us for the moment, so... 
We must still direct the main of our strength against those who seek to destroy us. Yet we would know more of this Asher. Seek out Jadugar and discover what you can. Don't take another step. Do you truly mean to turn your back on the God of Slaughter? This is your last chance to drop the zeros and get with the pyro. Alright, um, we heard that in the previous playthrough. We're probably going to keep saying this shit after every single one. Whatever Jadigar is up to, the best way to combat heretics is a right proper godly display. I have been too passive. That don't quite inspire folks. It's time to take back what's mine. Don't take another step. Do you truly mean to turn your back on the God of Slaughter? This is your last chance to drop the zeros and get with the pyro. Persephone and James will be on the offensive. It falls upon me, therefore, to be ready to counter any assaults, pyro or charnel attempt. You could be particularly useful in this regard. Don't take yes, another yes, step. Yes, yes, we Do you truly mean to turn your back on the God of Slaughter? This is your last chance to drop the zeros and get with the pyro. All right. It does not matter if what the worm says is true. No Asher can threaten Pyro once the Pyrodralic Dynamo is completed. To activate it, we will need more slaves, but... <laughs> I think James just volunteered to provide them. Come on now. You never do nothing for me. We offer you one last chance at repentance. There are wiser things one might do. Well, seems like everybody wants us on their side, on their side at this point. The indignity. James actually suggested that this upstart, this Asher, could be a greater threat than the God of Slaughter. Perhaps it will be necessary to subjugate this cult and restore everyone's faith in us, no? Come on now, you never do nothing for me. We offer you one last chance at repentance. There are wiser things one might do. Okay, well, the plot thickens. And uh, we have a lot of options ahead of us. But who to choose? I don't know, I'll have to think about it. Till next time, though. My name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.